Hi, Epic Recaps here, and today, I am going to explain to you a British horror drama from 2002 called 28 Days Later. If you want to be spoiled, keep watching. Late one night, animal rights activists break into a British laboratory to free chimpanzees that are being used for medical research. They disregard the warnings of a lab staffer, and free a chimpanzee, unaware that the animal has been injected with an experimental virus. The freed subject quickly attacks and infects the activists and scientists. The infection spreads quickly among its victims, turning them into unrecognizable monsters in seconds. 28 days later, a man named Jim, awakens from a coma in a deserted hospital. Outside he sees no sign of life in the city. The streets are littered with garbage and show signs of a disaster. While wandering around, he calls out for anyone who might still be about. He finds a newspaper with the headline, Evacuation. In a church, he finds a large group of people gathered together. A priest approaches Jim, who backs away from him when the priest exhibits strange behavior. Jim hits him, and upon seeing the priest's face, is frightened and runs away. He discovers that the population has turned into raging monsters, attacking anything they can find. Getting chased through the streets by the infected people, Jim is rescued by two survivors named Selena and Mark. Mark ignites a gas station, causing it to explode and allowing their escape. The pair rush him to their hideout in the London Underground, and Jim explains that he was in an accident and recently woke up from a coma in the hospital. Filling him in, Mark and Selena reveal that a virus, that turns normal people into bloodthirsty monsters, has spread uncontrollably throughout the world, resulting in a total collapse of society. Jim insists on going to his parents' house, though they think it's a bad idea, Selena and Mark accompany Jim. He finds his parents' bodies, and learns they have committed suicide. That night, they are attacked by a group of the infected. Mark and Selena manage to kill them, but Mark is wounded and bleeding after the fight. Selena kills Mark and explains to Jim that the infection is spread through contact with contaminated blood. Working quickly, the virus turns the host and makes them deadly to others. She warns that if he becomes infected, she would not hesitate to kill him. As the two journey through the abandoned city, Selena quickly makes it clear that she is not interested in any romantic encounters and that the only thing she is focused on is the fight for survival. In the distance, they see Christmas lights blinking in a high-rise apartment and decide to investigate. In the stairwell, they hear the sounds of approaching infected and quickly make their way up. They encounter a man named Frank, dressed in riot gear. He directs them to the safety of his apartment while he deals with the infected. Frank returns and Selena and Mark meet Hannah, his teenage daughter. Invited to spend the night, Selena and Jim privately discuss whether they should pair up with Frank and Hannah. Jim thinks it's a good idea, while Selena fears the father and daughter will slow them down. She advises Jim that putting others ahead of your own personal survival will only get you killed. The next morning, Frank informs Jim that his water supply is dwindling. Despite his best efforts to catch the rain, there has not been any for 10 days, and they have to move on to survive. Frank plays them a pre-recorded radio broadcast loop, that is transmitted by soldiers near Manchester who claim to have salvation and the answer to infection. The journey would take two to three days. Frank tells Selena and Jim that he and Hannah need their help to get there. Selena is skeptical, but Hannah convinces them that they all need each other. The survivors board Frank's cab. On their way, they come to a tunnel blocked by a pile up of cars. Frank finds a ramp and drives over the wreckage. On the other side one of the cab's tires ruptures. Starting work on the tire, they realize that a horde of infected are heading their way and frantically finish. They find an abandoned store and stock up on provisions, as well as gasoline. Stopping to rest, Selena tells Jim that she was wrong about survival being all that's left. The group spends the night in a field. Before going to sleep, Jim spots Selena's stash of pills and suggests to Frank that Hannah would benefit from one to help her sleep. Selena is hesitant at first, but she softens and shares it with Hannah. Arriving in Manchester, they see that the entire city is abandoned and on fire. Frank gets infected by a corpse and sadly tells Hannah to stay away. Before Jim can react, Frank is shot by soldiers hiding nearby. They take Selena, Jim, and Hannah to a fortified mansion under the command of Major Henry West. Selena is having a difficult time coping and runs away when Jim tries to kiss her. West takes Jim on a tour of the mansion grounds and introduces him to Private Mailer, an infected soldier that West is keeping alive, so that he can study him. At dinner, the trio learns of West's plan to wait out the infected with hopes that they starve to death. Meanwhile, to keep up morale amongst his soldiers, he forces the female survivors into providing sexual favors. That night a group of infected try to attack the mansion. Jim, still stunned by what he learned at dinner, attempts to escape with Selena and Hannah, 
but is captured by the soldiers, along with Sergeant Farrell, who also disagrees with the Major's plan. While Jim and Farrell are imprisoned, Farrell theorizes that there is no worldwide pandemic. The infection takes hold of its victims so rapidly that it would have been impossible for any infected to escape the British Isles, leading the rest of Europe and perhaps the world to impose a strict quarantine on the British Isles. Two soldiers arrive to lead the prisoners into the woods to be executed. Arguing over how they should be killed, Jim uses the opportunity to escape. He observes an aircraft flying overhead and realizes that there are still people in the outside world. Selena and Hannah are instructed to dress for dinner. Selena asks to be left alone with Hannah to help her prepare and offers Hannah a pill that will help her get through the evening. Jim lures West back to the blockade and takes out one of the soldiers. He runs back to the mansion where he lets Mailer free. Mailer attacks the soldiers in the mansion, while Jim stealthily maneuvers his way around the infected. Selena, who is being held hostage by the last uninfected soldier, is horrified when Jim bursts into the room and savagely kills the soldier, leading her to believe he's infected. She raises her machete, but hesitates before striking. Jim tells her that was longer than a heartbeat. Selena, relieved that Jim is not infected, kisses him passionately. Hannah finds them and the trio run to Frank's cab, only to encounter West, who shoots Jim in the stomach. Hannah, with West still in the backseat, backs up the cab, and feeds West to the infected mailer. With West dead, Hannah hurries back to Selena and Jim, and they drive to a deserted hospital to save Jim. Another 28 days pass and a bandaged Jim is waking up in a remote cottage. Downstairs, he finds Selena sewing large swaths of fabric when Hannah rushes in with news that she hears fighter jets. The trio rush out with the cloth and unfurl it. It's the last letter, O, oh, in hello. Laid out in an open meadow, the three survivors jump and wave, hoping to attract the jet's attention. As the jet flies over the meadow, Selena turns to Hannah and asks, do you think they saw us this time? Thanks for watching. Let us know what you thought about this film in the comment section below. For more epic recaps, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. See you next time.